lollipop, lollipop, ooh la 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 Lollipop Chainsaw. From the creator of No More Heroes. I realize when you guys talk, I have to stop doing this, I move my mouth. As you guys know, No More... It's an action hack and slash arcade game. And, and it's taking a lot of flack for being a hack and slash game. It's like grinding, collecting and upgrading, and it's, yeah. it's yeah. kind of like... Yeah, just go around and kill stuff. It's not like a god of war. It's not like that type of hack and slash where you... you know, That's an adventure. Well, this is a story adventure. Kinda. That There's less no story. Sense. It's about this girl named Juliet who kills zombies. Her whole family does. You end up finding out. You meet her sisters, etc. An area of California has been taken over by zombies. There's a punk rock dude. And he essentially opens up the portal between our world and rock world or rotten world. So zombies are starting to take over. Think of it as Scott Pilgrim versus the world, but instead of being Scott Pilgrim, you're actually Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Instead of killing. Vampires are killing zombies. She's a cheerleader. She does like cheerleading moves and whatnot. She hits people with the pom poms. And, and you look she like has... Barbie. You, yeah, look, you like look like Barbie with bigger breasts. And she has this chainsaw that you soup up over time. It gets better and better. There's more moves. You can do this running dash and jump thing. You can also shoot stuff. And you just keep upgrading it. It's kind of funny because she goes up to this computer and she's shopping online. So it's she's making... like, I love shopping. And the lollipop song comes up. Yeah. It's a great soundtrack too. The humor in this game is relentless. And I, I love it for that. But at the same time, I, I find some jokes I'm like, ew. It's like sometimes you're just going they to like, go far. It's oh, pretty just like shock have, value. Yeah, I'm gonna fist your ass with my head. Oh, I got wood after she finishes shopping. And he's like, that's weird. You try to look up her skirt and she goes, don't do that, you pervert. And then you try to look up her bum and she goes, no. It's a grindhouse video game. It's written by James Gunn, the writer of Slither. He also directed Slither. And if you don't get that type of humor, then you're gonna be put off by this game for yeah. sure. It's like one of these games where a lot of people are complaining that the gameplay itself is horrible. Well, it's a repetitive, not horrible. It's just rep well, it's saying, repetitive. It's repetitive. But you're always no, I didn't, I didn't say I think it's repetitive. I'm saying a lot of people find it repetitive, but they actually do an excellent job of changing up the gameplay. Because yeah. there's these little mini games that you play, and also these little dream sequences where Juliet will like chop a mushroom down and she goes on a trip. Fight like a big giant on a boat, right. stinky hippie, that when you cut her in half, she clones herself. Yeah. But each boss battle, there's a formula. Well, it's important to note that on her skirt, has, is her boyfriend's head. She severed it, he was about to turn into a zombie, so she saved him by severing it. And so he comes around with her and he comments on things, which is funny, he's like on her butt, which is kind of weird. Every once in a while, there'll be a body that'll show up that doesn't have a head and you can put Nick's head on it and you have to do kind of like in God of War, hit the right keys in order to make him do whatever action you need him to do. I think he's the best part of the game. Just that humor that he creates, just dangling yeah. on her butt. Some of the best lines in the game. Nick's voice is done by Michael Rosenbaum, who Lex Luthor from Smallville. So what's really unique about this game is, just when you think you've seen it all, it gives you something else that's just over the top. Ugh, Amanda used to be hot, but now there's like, her guts are coming out of her vagina. Whoa. You knock something over and coins come flying out of it and like, fireworks and lasers. And rainbows and hearts and stars. Obviously James Gunn is a huge fan of Romero and I like to see games that actually sort of homage Romero. I definitely notice a lot of little things like the helicopter at the beginning of the game is the same helicopter that's out of uh, the beginning of Day of the Dead. Uh, High because, school's name is yeah, Romero. It's called the Saint Romero. They comment on there being running zombies. I like that. I love that they actually pay respect to where it came from. I'm waiting for my respect. I have none. Zero. You gotta earn it, Mike. Score, Jay, what do you give it out of 10? I give it an 8 out of 10. I love this game. I don't care what people are saying about the whole hack and slash, how boring it gets. Yes, the gameplay you could say is the weakest part of this game, and there's also some technical, graphical things that you can nitpick over. It's really a unique experience. Like, I haven't played a game like this for a long time. It's actually making me laugh. You know, the up the skirt shots get annoying after a while, but. No, they, no, they don't. Best music in a video game since God knows when. The score. Hey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You're so fun. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hey, 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 hey. I give it uh, a seven out of ten. Uh, reason being is I didn't like the auto aim feature. The aiming in it, I thought it was kind of terrible. She shoots from her chainsaw, and the audio is not so good. The camera angles sometimes really screw, like get screwy. And you can't change the camera angles certain times. Yes, they do a great job changing it up, but the actual journey of the whole campaign, it's it's over pretty quick. There's like no multiplayer or anything like that. I feel like it's a bare bones. I'll play multiplayer with you. <laughs> Other than that, like. It's funny, it makes you laugh. Uh, it made me laugh anyways, because uh, I'm a simpleton. This game reminds me of Saints Row the Third. Same type of over-the-top humor. I mean, there's no dildos or anything in this that I could find. Cat, what do you get out of Cat, 10? Cat, what do you give this game? I had 10 cat chats. Hey, what do you get? 
Suntan lotion. I give this game a 7.5. I liked it. I thought the story was funny, and it's an arcade game. It's one of those games that you kind of want to play, you only have a little bit of time, so you just want to play something quickly. It's not a game where you're, oh, I need to know what happens. It's not like Uncharted. I like the upgrades and all the ridiculousness, like the rainbows and the stars and the music. It was all a lot of fun. It was a fun game. It wasn't that long and the story wasn't compelling really. So it wasn't amazing to me, but it was fun. If you want to just kind of chill and lay back and play a game, laugh a little. As a girl, were you offended at all by the character? Did you find her, a lot of people find her Juliet annoying. Apparently my opinion doesn't count on these things because what? I am a man in a woman's body. Oh, okay, so you you liked it a lot. I okay. thought it was hilarious. The tits. Oh, I'm a these tits. It's oh, just so enjoyable. It's a really uh, fun uh, game. Uh, uh, How gay is this, guys? Oh. Somebody said you're not funny on the show anymore. I'm hilarious. I think this is funny. Bullshit. You remind me of Scott Pilgrim, and now this this is his next game. And it's an sure. action hack and just blah blah. And it's an so action walk in there. It's crazy. It's kind of <laughs> Hello? Hey bud. I'm just filming right now. Are you coming now? Okay, Gunzy. Okay. 